guys, this is Gaz from Affinlight.com. As promised on my streams, I'm making a poker tutorial for you guys to start playing poker. Like if you are just curious or if you want to know if you can make a living out of it or if you are wondering if poker is a good thing or a bad thing, I will give you guys all the information you need right now. I'm going to make a very, very, very quick video and I will try to sum up all the information you need. And uh, this, on this video you'll know how to play poker without needing to invest any money and totally risk-free. So the first thing you need to, to do, I don't want to lose time right here guys, let's go, go, go. It's go on thinlight.com slash forum, you can click here on forum. Scroll down, look for Kaz, here I am. There are a lot of, of questions that I've replied already, you can look them up here. Also there's this, this guide here to read before the game, before you start playing. A lot of people saw the guide already, some love it. I'm just going through it, through it very, very, very quickly. So step one is choosing your poker client. PokerStars is my favorite in, and it was the client that uh, Athene himself introduced to me when he was teaching me how to play poker and I was taught how to play poker and trying to make a living out of poker. He gave me PokerStars. But PokerStars is banned on the US. So I, I have some suggestions here. Cake Poker is probably the, one of the best because it, uh, it supports uh, external software that maybe in the future you'll need, like all the manager and others. But also Carbon Poker, I've, I've had very good feedback on it. Maybe you should try one of those. If you are registering on PokerStars, I give you one or, or two tips. Like, before you register, you should read this. Because you can make, you can, like, there's something on poker which is called rake. Uh, and rake basically is the, the amount of money you will be giving to the poker site you're playing on, on each hand uh, you win. So if you win a hand of $2, like if the pot is $2, you will be giving uh, something like 10% uh, to the house, to the poker site, which means you will be giving 20 cents away. To the poker site. So if you read this, you will learn how you can convert that loss of money into some benefits, into some bonus. Ma uh, mainly with uh, promotion codes from poker pros or promotion codes from online, from online poker schools. You should uh, make a research before you register. If you are re registered already. Uh, some uh, schools, online poker schools, give you some some promotions even even if you are registered already. If you are not, please make a research first. Then I have here some of the best bonus poker sites that you should look up, like PokerStrategy.com. Will give you fifty dollars for free, totally risk free, if you answer a quiz. And basically, to answer this quiz, you will need to read read a beginner's guide that. The, the site will give you. It's very very easy. While you are reading the site you can answer this quiz and get $50 for free. Uh, some guys on my stream told me that maybe <coughs> you cannot uh, use this money on PokerStars but even if you get this money on any other uh, website, on any other poker clients, you can just try to, to earn some money there with this bankroll using the, the strategy I'm going to give you guys and if you manage to make some money you can uh, cash out, you can um, withdraw the money and get it on PokerStars later on. So, that, but there are other poker sites by the way and other poker schools that have the same system. They give you a quiz and they give you some money or other goodies. So I really advise you guys to read this guide first. There's a lot of information that I'm skipping. Um, the step two is to get to know about your strategy. The winning player is the player that has a winning strategy and to have, a, to have a winning strategy I recommend two websites to have on your bookmarks. So you just go on 2 plus 2 and you add it to your bookmarks right here. There's a really good forum like on your free time or when you are making a break, you are making a long session like my philosophy on poker is for every hour you play you need to make a, a 10 minutes break. So. 
I, that's what I, I, I try I try to do at least. If I play like one hour, I make a 10 minutes break. If I play an hour and a half, I play I make a 15 minute minute break or something like that. So and while I'm doing that break, I usually go on these websites and I read what I can. So there are here on two plus two there are really cool forums. You can check other players' doubts and learn from them. Like a lot of problems I, I, I had in my poker journey, I knew already the solution because sometimes I would be reading stuff from here. Another really cool thing that 2plus2.com has to offer you is Poker Magazine. If you click Poker Magazine, you have very, very cool articles you can read. And one of my, one of my favorite articles is this one here. Poker is good for you. If you have doubt, guys, that poker is a good exercise, even if you f if you play for fun or if you play to make a living, you have a lot of facts here that maybe you don't know about. And if you learn them, you'll probably um, feel more comfortable to try to play poker. There are at least 24 reasons you should play poker. I'll just read the first 10. Poker is a great teacher. Poker improves your study habits, poker develops your math skills, poker develops your logical thinking, poker develops your concentration, poker develops your patience, poker develops your discipline, poker de teaches you to focus on the long term, poker teaches you that for uh, foregoing a profit equals taking a loss and vice versa. Poker develops your re realism and the list goes on. And I really advise you guys, if you have, if you are in doubt, if poker is a good exercise, even if you don't play for real money, if you just play for fun with friends or whatever, you have this article here, which I really recommend. Have fun with it. And the next website I recommend on that guide is Friendly Poker, which was designed and built by Athene himself and his crew. Um, the main page is this one here. You have a chat. You have a really cool community here. A lot of members are not uh, very active nowadays, but some are still active. So if, if you have questions or whatever, or if you wanna get involved, just come here. Use the forums. Like the forums are really cool, by the way. If you go on forums, if you go on view and change to categories, you'll see very cool categories here. For example, this one here, goals, achievements, and failures. Like you can uh, read about other players' experiences, you can learn a lot from this. Just give it a look, guys. And if you go on poker tutorials up here, you have the guide I just showed you in the beginning. It's the same guide. And you have online poker basics, the rules and stuff. You have a glossary, which is very important, by the way, guys. Uh, um, a small talk is a very strong component when you're playing poker, online poker. Like a player that talks a lot can be can can be giving you information about his game style, and uh, if he uses terms that you don't know about, he will maybe embarrass you and you won't feel very comfortable, and you will you will give him information that you are a noob. So maybe you want to get into this to improve your poker poker language, so you will be ready for the small talks. And the most important of above of it all is FP Coach. Designed by Athene and Riz. This is a very, very, very good F, uh, coach. Like, if you don't know which kind of hands to play or which kind of actions to take in certain occasions, you have everything on this uh, explained uh, um, graphical uh, tutorial. It's very, very good. You also have a, vi a video of Athene explaining it a little bit better. I will just make a very, very, very quick review on it so you don't lose much time coming up on my next video. See you guys there.